It has been a while since I filmed. My goodness, I am so happy to be back. This summer has just gone by lightning quick and I hope that you guys have been having a great summer. Put in the comments how you've been doing. I hope everybody has been doing great. Like I said, it's just gone by so fast. It's been a blur, like so much has happened. It's been really fun. But now I am really missing the uh, fall. I cannot wait for it to be fall again. That's my favorite season ever. So I'm gonna be getting back into the swing of things of filming more regularly. For those of you that are new here, my name is Lisa. I'm an esthetician and a saint makeup artist. I am going to just jump in with my basic look today, just getting back into the swing of filming. I'm just gonna do the basic face. So Saint Cream Makeup, this is a system where everything is conveniently all in one palette and you can customize your palettes and uh, remove them and move them around as you see fit. And I personally set mine up in the order that I'm going to use I'm also it. gonna show you how fast this is. So I am going to try to not talk too much <laughs> as I go through because that usually slows me down because I could do like my whole face in five minutes and with eyeshadow, 10 minutes. So the first thing that I do is select my brushes and these are my two favorite. This is the detail brush and this is the blush and bronzer brush for my complete face. First things first, I am going to put this on the traditional way because once you get your palette, you put everything on the way that it best works for you and I go over that with you. Being an esthetician, I also do um, skincare recommendations and analysis depending on what your skin type is and also how to best have this makeup work for you, which is completely customizable, which is one of the things I love about this. Okay, so the traditional way is you put on your contour first and you do sculpting. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, just a little bit goes a long way, especially for mature skin. That really helps to um, give us lift and structure to our features. So I have that in my third spot right here. This is the new contour that has come out, it's called Cedar. It's a really beautiful contour. It's like in between a warm and a cool. And for me, that has been working, especially in the summer, this is the detail brush. And this is amazing for contour because you can see like the straight line. And we always only just tap into the makeup. It is very, very pigmented. These tins last a very long time because of that. But it's so great because it is compact and you don't have so much room taking up like in a huge makeup bag. I didn't realize like how much I was going to appreciate that once I switched over to this cream makeup system. All right, so now I'm just going to put the contour where it's supposed to go and I'm just laying the makeup on right now and then I'm going to blend everything together. And then I personally like to do the jawline. I have a mirror right here too, just to be more precise because I'm using the viewfinder. So you can see that just kind of chiseled my jaw a little bit more and it just gives a little bit more definition. And then once you blend it out, and I actually do that immediately down here because if I forget, then it just looks like a stark, harsh line that I am not a fan of. So, and I'm sure most people do not want to have like this major line of demarcation. So my suggestion is always just to kind of tap it out immediately. That way you won't forget. And then we go on to the main shade. I also find on either side of the throat here helps, you know, just a little bit more definition, but you really kind of like blend it away almost like to nothing, but it does leave a little bit of that definition behind. You probably could see it a little bit more coming up on the camera. And then I do put bronzer, like once we get a little bit further on, so it just kind of marries everything together. Now to the main shade, this right here, this is Athens. And this is one of the newer highlight shades. I don't know what it is. I'm telling you something is different about the new formulation. I feel like there's more coverage, more blendability with them, and it just seems more supple. I don't know. It's not supposed to be a thing that they change any formulation, but there's something about this, especially with coverage, and it just still looks like skin. It doesn't look like cakey makeup. It's so good. All right, so I'm very happy also that this Athens has been a match for a lot of my light to medium skin tones. So it's been very universal. It's a neutral shade. So this is smack dab my shade right now in the summer. And you see like I'm just tapping very lightly. And then this is the same detail brush. I love putting on my main foundation with a detail brush. You will find the brush will figure out the brush that would be best for you. And then I start on my jawline. And you can see it just like melts right into the skin and just makes everything uniform. I have acne scars right here. So that is always what I concentrate on. And like I said, you're gonna find your pattern. We're going to discuss what is 
going on with your skin, what you would like to enhance, what you would like to minimize, and we go from there in terms of picking your shades and your brushes because you could do your whole face with just one brush. I personally like these two, and I'll show you why with the bronzer brush, why I love that one so much for blush and bronzer, but you can do your whole face with just one brush. And we have several to choose from. So we'll talk about that. Now when I get to this point, because I put most of the makeup on the non-movable parts of my face, so I don't get any creasing. This makeup doesn't crease, actually, because as long as you're not putting on um, piles of it, of course, with any makeup. So this technique is my favorite because once I have the bulk of makeup on the non-movable parts of my face, again, because I have the acne scars, then I just kind of migrate everything over and it's very, very thin around like the laugh lines where I don't need too much coverage, but you want everything to look seamless. And then this is what makes it look skin-like. And I first brush and then stipple. Stippling is the key with this stuff. And once you do that, picks up any excess, like if you did put on a little bit too much, and helps it integrate into the skin better. Okay, so right now you see I still have the stark line of the contour and I'm gonna take my same brush and just kind of tap. And that will disperse that line and start the contour line for the shaping. And you see how subtle that is. This is literally just to give a little bit of shape to the features. My jawline is already all blended out and that's it. That's as easy as it is to do contour with this stuff. And you could do your forehead. I generally don't. I just use um, bronzer. So when I get to that step, I'll show you. So like I said, completely customizable to your needs and what you want out of your makeup. Next for me, my under eyes. If you watch my other videos, I'm always talking about the under eyes because for me personally, that is a major thing that I always have to, that I want to minimize and make look better. Like I said, everybody is different and you have your own things that you will want to um, improve or enhance and we talk about all of that with your color match which by the way all of my information is in the description to contact me you can text me directly there's a text number there too my text service number which is really easy to have like a conversation with me back and forth a little quicker anyway now oh that was my cat he's so cute he just sneezed okay I'm gonna leave that in because he's just too adorable the air conditioning has been on non-stop especially the last couple of weeks so I feel like the whole house has had the sneezies <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so back to the under eyes. And for me, what I have been doing with my basic six is I have just been using Athens for my under eyes. And like I said, the coverage on this has been incredible. And it has taken care of all of the bluish and purplish undertones under my eyes, which has been really amazing. I also have videos on Demi, which I love Demi and I still use it. Different type of a texture, different kind of a look, even less makeup when you really want a no makeup makeup look. And I'm gonna revisit and do some more videos, newer videos on that as well. Uh, but you can find them on my channel right now. Just look up Demi and my name and a whole bunch of stuff is gonna come up if you're interested in how I do my Demi technique. Anyway, so that's all I needed for my under eyes. And you can see like it already helped with the brightening. And then I also do a little bit on my eyelids, but I do not need much at all. And it just covers everything and evens everything out. Same here. And that's all I need. You could even use the other side. And even though it has this like flat, like broom type of end, which I absolutely love. And you could just kind of go and tampen that down. And do a couple little taps here to remove any excess that might be there. But once you get the hang of this, you know exactly what kind of coverage you want and how much makeup you need in order to achieve that. And it is very little, and you will learn that quickly. So that's all I needed for my under eyes. It still blows me away because, oh, my under eyes have been an issue since I was in my teens really. And of course now they've gotten progressively worse now that I've gotten older because we start to lose volume. And this makeup has really helped keep the look of my under eyes looking so great because it's cream. And I also feel like it doesn't enhance like under eye lines. You put this on properly in very thin layers. You will not have any problems with creasing and it just makes everything look more supple and your skin looks more vital, which 
I have been over the moon about. Now the next thing in my palette, you know, so this was my main shade and then I have a brightening shade. This is Palace and this is one of the newer highlights as well. And I started to incorporate this. I usually use one that's a little bit brighter called Versailles when I want like an even more of a bright pop. But today I'm doing something a little more subtle, but you'll see that there's a difference between my main color that I put on my skin and now this one. So this one's a little bit lighter, but it's very, very subtle. And I like to do this, especially in the summer and in the daytime, you know, cause I don't want too much of a stark difference, but it still helps with brightening. And I always go under the trough area with this on my cheekbone, cause it gives me a, a subtle matte highlight here. And then any trace elements, I migrate up and it gives me brightening on my under eyes without too much cakey makeup. But you can see what a difference that made, very subtle but it looks bright and fresh. That's how quick this is. And I haven't closed my palette. You see that I'm just boop, 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 just going one by one. This will go even faster if it wasn't talking in between. So I'm trying to curb that. It's kind of hard for me, as you can see. So next thing is bronzer. And I'm gonna move to my blush and bronzer brush, which I absolutely love this brush, especially the super fluffy side for putting on the bronzer. And you'll see why. Very sweeping and it puts it on so sheer and it just, melds everything together and makes like a seamless blend which is my favorite so i'm going to use high tide and this is a newer uh, bronzer so i just wanted to do all of the new shades today to come back you know into filming so this one i've used a couple of times i, I just kind of pinch the brush a little bit and just put a little bit of tapping and you'll see it on there and then i do this to kind of fluff it out and you'll see that depositing on my skin and you see how like the brush does all the work for you essentially same thing on this side and me personally i like to warm up the sides of my face and also the eyes some people like it to be really bright here me personally i like warmth on the sides of my eyes so again we go over what you want how you want to wear your makeup and you'll have your own pattern of how to put everything on and the more that you use this the better you will get at it quickly so like I was saying before, me personally, I just like to warm up the perimeters of my forehead here. Some people like to do the contour and the bronzer. So it depends on what look you're looking for. So go back in. And then I do down my neck and chest just to bring everything together, further blending out that contour that we did earlier. And just like because this is cream and it's so forgiving. If you did go a little bit overboard, overboard <laughs> can I talk today? <laughs> this is um, going back to my foundation brush and just kind of stippling around if you feel like you went a little too low, even with your contour, very, very easy to put this makeup exactly where you want it and go back and correct anything. Very forgiving that way. Next thing is eyes. Now I like to use the cream on my eyes, you know, so sometimes I do this with contour. Maybe I will do a little bit with contour and the bronzer just for shaping the um, crease and just giving a little bit of warmth here. And I'm going to use the blur brush. Now this is a demi brush and I love it because it's got a little bit more of this like fluffy dome. It kind of looks like the eyeshadow brush that we have the eyeshadow brush that we have is a smaller bullet and it has the fluffy end so this is for demi for buffing demi color but multi-purpose and that's one of the things that i love about the system as well is a lot of these things it's so versatile and you can mix and match mix the colors together come up with your own custom shades and everything is all in one palette i keep going off on tangents as usual okay so i am going to do cedar and i'm just going to tap a little bit you see there's a little dusting there and I'll just start here. Now, because I'm putting this on my brow bone, I'm not gonna get any creasing also. Now I do have an eye primer on and I always wear an eye primer. You'll find all that stuff linked down below. Um, I use one by Elizabeth Mott called Think Me Later and you can find it on Amazon. It's very affordable and it works really well. So especially since I go through it quite a bit because I use it all the time, that helps a lot and it's actually effective. Now. I have the primer on and I'm only putting this on my brow bone and I'm not necessarily going on the lid, even though I generally, because I put these on so thin, don't really find any creasing even when I do put it on the lid. But if you're only putting it up here, you're gonna get no creasing whatsoever. And you'll just have like a little bit of warmth. And I find with these creams, 
when you do use these on the eyes, especially for mature skin, if there's any creepiness going on up here or any dryness to the skin, this cream makes your eyelids look even more supple, which is another bonus. All right, so that was for more definition, and I am going to put in a little bit of warmth. I'm just gonna go a little lower, but still on the brow bone. And then you could flip over. There. That's it, and you could stop here. You could add a little bit of eyeshadow, which I will put on a little bit of eyeshadow today, but normally, you know, like on, on a day-to-day -day basis, especially for work, I just do this and I'm good to go. All right, so I've been saying this is the basic six. And the reason why I'm saying, spe specifying that it's six tins instead of just the usual four, which you could do a full face with the basic four. And that will consist of two highlights, which would be your main and your brightening. You would have a contour and a lip and cheek. These would be extra. So this is uh, an illuminator that I'm going to use. It's the new one, Nova. And then this is bronzer. And I personally like to have these two added. So I always recommend if you could, when you start, start with six and then you get the palette 12 because then your bottom tier, you could put extras and you could build your collection as you go. Now, there's nothing wrong with having extra palettes because I do, you know, and I have them for different purposes. This is an eight. You can get this where you have, you know, like only eight tins would go in here or the smaller, you know, like there would be 16 of the smaller tins for the eyeshadow. It depends on what it is that you want. Again, this is fully customizable. Now, on the bottom, I have my extras. I'm just going to do a little bit of eyeshadow and this is the balm and I should have put it on camera because I actually put this on before I did any of my makeup on my under eyes. This balm has no scent, no fragrance. It does have squalane in it, which again, I'm an ingredients junkie. Like I love to know everything that's, you know, happening with their skin, obviously like I'm an esthetician, so I'm totally into that. And this is a wonderful ingredient, uh, moisture binding, and it just helps to smooth everything. So when you put your makeup on top, it just leaves like such a supple crease feet free crease free finish <laughs> all right so anyway the balm i also use on my eyelids and it seems counterintuitive like you're going to get creasing all over the place but if you put it on very lightly which is what you also do under your eyes when you do tap a little bit before you put your makeup on it really helps to kind of give almost like a cream shadow effect without it being a full-on cream shadow so it just makes it very supple looking and that's the only way that i could describe it and especially with mature skin i keep saying because i found lately that that has been a problem or an issue not necessarily a problem but an issue that i personally don't like i don't like having like crepiness or dryness you know anything looking dry in my eyelids so this has really been helping with that so that's all i did you saw it was just a couple of taps you barely see any sheen it's very very light and now i'm going to go into this brush. Now you could go between powders and creams. I have a little towel here and sometimes I'll just kind of wipe it and it's super easy. You can go in between your textures this way, which is another thing that I love about this is you don't necessarily need 50 million brushes to do your whole face. And especially within the creams, you're only using the very tips of the bristles. So once you deposit the makeup on your skin, it's pretty much off of the brush, but you can kind of just swipe a little bit like on the, did this thing move? Uh, you could swipe a little bit on the uh, towel just to remove any excess. It makes me feel better, so I do it. So I just have that right here. Anyhow, I am just going to do just a two shadow look, just mainly on my eyelid. This is You Complete Me, You Complete Me, and this is Drift. <laughs> All right, so I'm like totally rusty, right? I'm like, oh my God, I can't even like talk. Okay, so here is this with the dome end, the fluffy dome end. Tap any excess. And let me kind of take a look over here so I can see a little bit better. So I'm just going to go straight on the eyelid and you'll see that it just looks like a beautiful sheen that's very subtle. You could build these up, but I like just a beautiful sheen and then flip over, remove any excess. So very, very subtle. Now, with drift which is a little bit more it's a very um what my friends call a low fleck shimmer because it is shimmery but it's almost like a it's like a sheen yeah i think this this look is more like a sheen between those two so here is drift and i'll put it more like on the inner corner flip it very very subtle go back into 
with all my towel. You complete me and just go on the outer corner. This one's kind of like a rose gold bronzy color, which I absolutely love. My favorites. And that's it. That's all I did. Now for lip and cheek. I am going to go extremely subtle in the lip and cheek department today because obviously we have things that are more pigmented, but I chose this here. This is a uh, sunshine state, which is now back in the permanent line. It was limited edition for a long time. And a lot of people were requesting that it be included in the permanent line. And now it has been, it is very sheer, but it is so pretty. I also love this as a lip gloss. It's a gloss formula, which are my favorite for the lips and for the cheeks. I mix them a lot, but right now, You'll see there's a very little bit of color there and a gold sheen, which is awesome for these waning summer months, I feel. I don't know. This just kind of gives me like that late summer feel. And I'm going to take my blush and bronzer brush. This is the blush side, the more dense side. And also you could even, if you were to get like one brush and you did get this one, you could do your entire face with this as well, which, you know, a lot of people like to use this for foundation. So it really is up your preference and each brush gives you different um, finishes you know so full coverage medium coverage light coverage and again we go over all of that with your color match so you see that's very subtle but still supple and dewy which is my absolute favorite and then the last thing that I'm going to do now you could always mix your bronzer with your illuminator sometimes I do that and this time I just put on the bronzer matte and then I'm just going to layer on top the Nova illuminator but you could mix them together and that would give you a different kind of finish a little bit more of a bronzy glow finish but with Nova by itself I'm put it on with my finger so you can see now with me with my skin tone this is not necessarily like a blingy highlighter it's almost like a glowy blush topper or a glowy bronzer topper on my skin, which I still love. So you can see it's got that beautiful highlight. And then again, I'm gonna go and just tap. So I'm not rubbing and swiping, especially if you had situate like if you if you had different things that you wanted to do um color correcting underneath your makeup, you could do that with Saint as well. If you had melasma spots, redness, all of that. And we go over that with your color match, like I said. So there's different colors and different techniques that we could do to underpaint in order to color correct any of those issues. And then when you put your makeup on top, it's seamless. All right, so that is just with a little bit of the Nova. And you see that my skin has that gleam, but it is not totally like in your face, super bright, which we do have powder illuminators that would give you that if you wanted but I love the subtle lit from within most of the time last thing I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of that sunshine state on my lips and it is a gloss and I love a blotted lip if you see my other videos I always talk about that but these um, not necessarily this shade but other lip and cheek shades that we have you could definitely do full-on lip color line your lips all that stuff so subtle really pretty and what you could also do like I was talking about the mixing and matching if you wanted to I'm gonna put a little bit of high tide this is probably gonna give me more of a fall lip let me see what happens now the bronzer is more on the brown side but it kind of gives me more of a coral actually no it's like a brownie nude That's pretty cute. So that is with the bronzer and Desert Sunset. So you could mix and match. You can see it's like an artist palette here. Yeah. Okay, now this makes me think of late summer nights. And then you could even top off with a little bit of Nova in the center. Super cute. Now, normally I don't necessarily wear this I, I kind of go more the berry route um coral so I'm not sure if this is necessarily working for me but on its own as a color for certain skin tones I think this would look really really nice 
All right, and that is it for today. I am really loving this. It's very subtle. There's like no blush, mostly bronzy goodness, you know, bronzy, supple, glowy goodness, which is my absolute favorite, especially for the late summer nights. So yeah, I am so happy to be back and that you have joined me again. Definitely comment down any questions that you have in the comments. I'll answer them in the comments. You could directly uh, contact me with my info in the description where it has my link tree and everything is there. How to get a color match. My text number is there. My text service number so you can call me there. And also take you directly to the color match form so you could fill out my short questionnaire so we can get you started on Saint Makeup. So thank you again for watching and I will see you soon.